So I'm, I'm not feeling too hot. But again, I just want to not get embarrassed this weekend. Just don't get embarrassed. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jets Therapy. Um, as you may have noticed, the Jets got absolutely embarrassed, laughed off of the field. Um, this is kind of what we were talking about last week uh, or a few days ago, that this is the only thing we didn't want to happen. We just wanted a close game. We weren't even looking for a W. We just wanted to be somewhat competitive with the Bills organization. They lead uh, the NFL in a variety of different categories, and it completely showed. We looked like trash and completely demoralizing. Um, Gordon, where are we at, man? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's one of those it's one of those lowest of the lows after this week again. It, you know, I know coming into this week, we both kind of said we weren't as hyped up as that Colts game coming right off that Bengals game, so we kind of knew, you know, what we wanted to see from it. And I didn't see anything that I wanted. I wanted to see Mike White do well. That didn't happen. I wanted to see the offensive line and defensive line continue to do all right. That didn't happen. So everything that we wanted, we just didn't see. We wanted to see a competent football team. And I don't know. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think so. I'm so sick of hearing Sala. And let me preface this with, I'm, I'm the biggest Sala guy. Uh, I think that he is right for this organization. I think that he is going to do great things here. But dude, I am so tired of the, we're all young, first time scheme, first time coaches. We have a lot of rookies in the backfield. In Elijah Moore's press conference today, the first thing he said was, I'm not a rookie anymore. Dude, you, these guys have played half a season in the NFL now. Nobody is a rookie anymore. Nope. For the, like nope. through the first couple of games, I get it. You're just trying to figure things out. You're getting your feet wet. It's just kind of like a learning process for a lot of these rookies. Once yep. you've played nine to 10 games, you understand the feel. You know what it's take to compete with some of these guys that have been playing in the NFL for five to 10 years. And for Sala to continue to go back on, you know, we're learning it. We have young guys, young guys. I get the whole young guys thing, but he's got to drop that, dude. That, yeah. I mean, that needs to be done. That is the most frustrating answer for, as a fan to just continue to hear we're young and we're learning. Well, guess what? In, in, if you're at a job for half a year and you suck at it, you get fired immediately. These guys need to catch up. And I, I'm, I'm done with that rookie excuse. I think back, I mean, I, I, I get that. I think back to, you know, or, or I like to think of Einstein's uh, definition for insanity. Like you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect the same results or expect different results. And that's what this season feels like to me. Like, oh, we, we you know, our players didn't play well enough. We got to coach better or, or, you know, it was on me today. Like he didn't even, they didn't really even say it was on me today. Like they said, he's got to coach the defense better, but like, the offense has been, you know, yeah, was terrible against this Bills defense. Now, again, we knew that we knew that coming in the Bills were the number one pass defense and very good on the run still. But like they didn't show anything. They didn't they we we took what the defense gave us and it was a ass beat. No response. No, I mean, no response. like literally no response for anything they did. Yeah. The only thing that we kind of had going for us quickly was it was 10 to three with like a minute and 55 to play in the second quarter. And you and I were texting back and forth. How, like, how are we down seven points? We haven't done anything. And then what do you know? You know, 45 seconds later, it's 17 to three, ball in the second half. They score again, turnover, they score again. And then there's no chance of winning. That turn and my turn. biggest thing, and I know your biggest thing, is Salah looking like a deer in the headlights on the side of the field. I mean, that's, that's, that's been my, like, that's what I've wondered all season watching these Jets. Like, where is, you know, last year when, when we knew Salah was getting interviewed, they're like, Oh, you're getting the whole, you're getting the guy that needs a holdback guy. Like on the sideline, there was literally someone that held him from going onto the field. Now, granted, that was when the 49ers were doing well. And let's be honest, has there been that many times this year where, you know, we've done well and maybe the camera just hasn't seen it. I don't know, but that energy, that passion, it's not showing on the cameras and on the sideline, at least from a, a specter's point at home on the field, in the game, it may be a little bit different, but like, where is that passion, that energy? And if he shows it in just meetings and like behind closed doors, like is that, is it all a facade then? And are the players like, are the players seeing through that in a way? You know what I mean? Like that's kind of what I'm wondering at this point is like, I know. Do I, I mean, I really, really hope not. I uh, hope not. I hope there's some sort of method to the madness here with his demeanor on the sidelines. But I mean, this is like a Todd Bowles situation where the guy's just not doing yes. anything. Like when Todd Bowles was coaching and things weren't going right, and I understand that he was congruent, even when things were going right, he still had that relaxed kind of 
just complacent that, that don't get too high don't get too, low don't get too high, but yeah. like, that's not how solid is he does get high when we make huge stops on defense yeah. and he does get hype and then when things are going poorly i mean what why is he even wearing a radio what like what yeah. is just to listen to, to the plays Who's he talking to on the sideline does he have any i does like does he ever override brick or or the floor yeah. I, I understand the floor is been doing well recently but as far as a defensive perspective that's his that's his game he's a defensive coordinator you can't be called a defensive guru and then hire jeff Ulbrich, who i thought i mean coming into this year i thought was a great hire and the two of them together but then no get scored on 175 points in the last four games what it's the worst since like 1970 in a four game period it's the giants now we're going to take over that record just constant record record breakers on the wrong end of the field. In the wrong end of the spit. So the I don't spit, I don't know yeah. I don't know if that's just the way that he's going to conduct himself now. Like he's like that true CEO type who's just trying yeah. to keep that level head. But it, there needs to be more intensity when things are going wrong as well, and holding guys accountable. And that whole yeah. speech that he gave, I get it. Of you don't need to if you have to yell at guys who are who are playing for a king's ransom then they're not in the right field. Okay, that might be true. I'm not asking you to yell at guys, but I'm asking you to show some emotion when things are not going correctly. Because right now it just looks like you don't care. Yeah. And look, I, I can understand the other side of the ball. If it was if we were seven and two right now, and this was his demeanor, then we'd be saying, hey, he's a calm, he's a, cool, he's collected guy. Exactly, yeah, exactly. like he's just, this is just how he handles himself, but we're not. We're two and seven. We, we're, see, we're seeing no energy out of him. And- I don't know, man. I I saw a different Jets team this week, and it was it was demoralizing because I just saw a lot less heart and a lot less energy. Yeah, especially late in the game. I understand it's over, but shit. I mean, well, like rough. coming coming out flat. Like I don't I don't get that. So like I, I know we never want to. You know, I'm going to speak the unspeakable name here, Gaze. Like you you think back to the, his time and like you know his two years here. Like we had we had. We started off games well. We scored right away. You know, we scored on the first drive. We scored on the second drive. And then we fell flat towards the end of the game. It was like we're seeing, minus the, minus the Patriots in this game, in my opinion, this past game, we're seeing the exact opposite this year. We're starting out slow, but then slowly catching up to games at the end. And we're just, yeah. you know, coming short that last drive or two. And that's, you know, that's a great way to look at things, but we still lost the game. And we still have gotten blown out five out of the you know however many games we've played so far it's it's just it's not it's not all of these points are garbage all of these points and all of these statistics are garbage i was listening to some i forget who i was listening to uh, on the radio and they were talking about elijah moore about how he showed up and he played well the dude had three catches for 44 yards and a touchdown in garbage time in garbage time he didn't do anything on fantasy fantasy, he scored me like 13 points in the (laughs) last few yards so like hey you know i'll take that but Again, yeah. passing that eye test and passing that the game, like winning the game, it's it's no. He he balled out in the last 10 minutes, like you said. And and the yeah. frustrating thing is I actually think that we have talent on both sides of the ball. I think offensively, we have talent in, in order to I score agree. points. And that showed in the last couple of weeks. This week it 100 percent did not. I understand that uh, the Bills have that extremely tough defense, but at the same time, man, like it I just feel like even defensively. I mean, just like some, I don't know, I, you can't even put your finger on it. So obviously the secondary is tough. Obviously we're, we're young. I, okay. Yeah. But so like, it just, everything looks off. Nothing looks like it's clicking. No. Like they don't, like, they don't even nothing. like, they don't know, like they don't understand this, like the scheme or what they're doing out there. Really yeah. Doesn't. It's like, we, it's almost like the opposite. It's like the bills knew they're in a run defense. So we'll pass or they're in a pass defense. So they're a run. Because every run went for 10 yards, every pass. And I mean, Eccles going down, he was actually keeping, um, uh, you know, he was keeping him in check uh, for a decent amount of time before. What's that? Diggs. Yeah. Thank you. Stephon Diggs. Um, And and then, you know, you got Gidry in there who just, the guy, the guy's lost. I actually don't think on that touchdown to the first touchdown, Gilgi actually played him decently well. It was just an yeah, unbelievable catch. Was pass. catch. But after that, he was biting on, on double moves and just looked like a complete he, – he looked like he was still in college. And, I mean, yeah, going, you know, going, into, the, going into half, you thought we were – you thought we had, had a chance of getting in, you know, of, of – or at least, like I said, you know, going, 
before that two minute drill into half, we're sitting 10 three, we're feeling real good. We're saying, Oh, not real good, but we're yeah. saying, okay, we got, we got a chance if we can turn it around in the second half. And then Corey drops Davis comes back and fumbles that ball, man. Like I, I want to love the guy. I really do. But I, I know I, he's got stone hands. Like he's the only Jersey I bought. What a loser. I am. I don't know what to do with these, Dan. <laughs> Maybe I should try to catch the ball. Or when he's not catching it, he's on, fumbling. Hold on to the ball. Exactly. Hold on to the ball. Excuse me. But still. And um, he, I mean, he's not, he's not a number one receiver. No. I, I mean, this whole t- it's all, it was almost laughable. Like, oh, we got our number one receiver back. You know, Mims was dropping the ball, but we finally got some, you know, a, a little more uh, reliability at the wide receiver position. And then your number one receiver, he's dropped. And this whole thing about, oh, why, he almost had 100 yards. Those were absolute garbage catches. Non-existent in the first quarter. I didn't didn't think he was playing. I I said to my wife, he he must not be playing. He must have gotten injured before the game because I had no idea where he was. No. And then, like, going into it, we know we're facing a very good, like, pass defense. We know we're 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 playing a very good defense, period. Where's the run game? Michael Carter ran for 130 yards the other week, like, where is that? Where's Ty Johnson? That one-two punch. I we didn't see anything. And yeah, maybe our offensive line was slacking a little bit. You know, I mean, obviously, obviously it was very apparent that Bills won the trenches this game. Like very apparent. And our offensive line did not come to play again. It was like week one. Just no holes, nothing. And, and this, this is what we were discussing last week about Mike White, too. I mean, yeah. everyone made it seem like he was going to be a potential franchise quarterback here. He's talking about how he should be a first round draft pick and all this stuff. And I believed in the hype a little bit. I got I got to admit it. I believed in the hype a little bit, but it was That's because we're dead fans and we, we hit lightning in a bottle. It. Exactly. We, we grasp on nothing. We grasp onto any the strong smallest little get. bit of hope, the smallest bit of hope of like, yeah. Oh my goodness, we have a quarterback that did something. Yeah. And then we think that he's going to be uh, Tom Brady the next week. Yep. Dude, Zach Wilson's the guy. Zach Wilson's our dude. Right now, he is our only hope at having a successful French, uh, franchise. When he's healthy, when he's healthy, he's got. I mean, and he's got to be playing. But we also got to protect him. I mean, granted, Mike White wasn't on the ground too much this game. I don't think they got many. I, I don't know how many it times they got. It, it wasn't. You know, wasn't too bad. They had that one. Um, that one. You know, that almost was a fumble, or almost. You know, almost that they almost called as a fumble, but they called it an incomplete pass instead. That was that was real close, but you know. I don't know. We got to protect the quarterback and we got to get our best one in there. And I, that is definitely Zach Wilson. Yes. He's got all all you can do. All you can do is shrug your shoulders. I mean, you just like, it's like, there's, I don't even, what do you analyze here? Cause again, I don't even know if it's the players. I don't know if it's the players. I don't know if it's Joe Douglas, not having the right guys. I don't know if it's Sala and he's just learning what it's like to be a, a head coach and getting the X's and O's right. I yeah. don't know enough about the X's and O's to truly understand what scheme we're even running here. I understand enough about the LaFleur offense to know what he's trying to do. But at this point, dude, it's like, what do you even, what do you even have to fix? You have to fix everything. One thing he said in his press conference is like, oh yeah, we don't, we don't match up. Like we don't play the matchup game. When uh, I think someone asked yeah. about putting Hall on digs for a little while. Cause on digs, digs, yeah. he's like, yeah, no, we don't, we don't match up like that. Well, what you were doing wasn't working. So why not try it at least? Or, you know, yeah. I, I just, again, I'm not a defensive coach. I don't know. I'm not a guru. I don't know. But I'm right. looking at our remaining schedule, man. And ask me after the Bengals game, our remaining schedule, I said, I thought we could probably win four or five games. I got a prediction for you. Let's hear it. Next six games, Jets win five out of six. Oh. Boom. You heard it here first. Dan. Let's go, baby. I'm now we play, we play the Dolphins twice. In. We play the Dolphins twice, which I, I don't know. I mean, they just held uh, – who they just played this past weekend? They looked like um, a competent team. Yeah, who the, who the hell the Dolphins? We played the Jaguars and we played the Texans. Those are the four games that I think we have a chance of winning. The Eagles, I'm sorry, we're not beating them. The Saints, no way. I'm going to that game. That's the game I'm going to. The Bills again? Uh, hello, another crush because we're okay, going up well, to Buffalo. That, yeah, that's where it gets bad. That, I yeah. think we go Buccaneers Bills to finish Bu- the season. Buccaneers Bills like to finish the season. Like, yeah. we're facing Tom Brady again and then the new Patriots. I don't even want to think about that. I'm focused on the next six games. I'm focused on winning five out of six. 
and we're and we're talking playoffs. Let's go. We're talking playoffs. Let's go. Because All that's right. what the Jets do. They're going right. to destroy you. They're going to build you up, and they're going <laughs> to cut you off at the knees once again. And I'm back you in. Raise baby. me up. Let's go. So it's I only Monday. It's only Monday, and I'm back in. <laughs> Cause that's what we do. That's what, that's, that's what, what do. they do. It's a, it's a, it's a roller coaster. It's a glass roller coaster of emotion. Dan. Oh God. What a joke. How sad, how sad is this? All right, man. Well, all right. We're going to wrap up this, uh, this bills week here. Uh, we're going to be coming at you guys in a few days with our prediction for the dolphins game. Uh, yep. I think we saw notice that two is going to be back this week. Tua, Tua will be the starter. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. If that, I like that. I think. Yeah, I, I don't think Tua has anything special, no. um, but <laughs> I mean, we don't even know who our quarterback is. That's right. If Wilson Flacco. can't go, yeah, I think Flacco goes. I'm Flacco magic, baby. Yeah. Oh, he so threw that dime. He threw that dime with two minutes left. Yeah, to Elijah Moore. Yeah. What a stud he was. Yeah. All right, man. All, All right. right. Bye to Bella as well. <laughs> See you, everybody.